Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Sun Microsystems. In creating mashups with JMarkey series, I present yet another screencast known as Travel Map. This Travel Map is a real life rich internet application that plots the places visited during a particular time frame on a Google Map widget. All the previous screencasts and mashups in this series are available at the URL mentioned at the bottom of the screen. Let's get started. Travel Map, that is the name of our mashup, is a real life rich internet application built using JMarkey and Jersey. JMarkey, as you're familiar, is a lightweight framework to build Web 2.0 applications, and Jersey is the open source reference implementation to create RESTful web services. This is an implementation of JSR 3.11, also known as JAX-RS, that is developed under Java community process. As I mentioned earlier, the mashup is a travel map that plots visited places on a Google Map widget. The complete detailed steps to create this mashup are explained at the blog URL, which is given in the second bullet on the screen. Once the application is fully created, it looks as shown in the image at the bottom of the screen. You have a complete Google Map widget. There are markers all over the Google Map. If you click on a marker, it basically shows where you have been. It provides some metadata about that venue, such as dates, blogs, and it even provides a number in which you might have visited the place. Before we look at the application, let's see what the architecture of the application looks like. The core of the mashup is a Jersey-based RESTful endpoint. This endpoint uses Java Persistence API to retrieve the data from a Java database. This Java database contains the entire information about all the places you have visited, the entire metadata. Now using NetBeans IDE, we generate entity classes from the Java database. And then again, using NetBeans IDE, we generate RESTful Web Services implementation from the entity classes. Once we have our Jersey-based RESTful endpoint ready, then we have a JMarkey-based client application that invokes this Jersey-based RESTful endpoint, gets the XML data back. The entire client application and the RESTful endpoint application are happily deployed on Glassfish. Let's have a look at how the finally built application looks like. Switching to the browser window, a completely built application looks something like this. It has a plot events button. There's a Google map widget here. I've also opened Firebug in order to monitor how the application is progressing. Once the application is fully deployed, we click on the button plot events and we will see how the different markers are tagged all over the map. Let's click on the button plot events. As you can see, the markers are tagged all over the map. This is a fully functional Google map. We can drag it around. And if need be, we can start zooming in as well. Let's say we start zooming in. We click on a marker. It shows us the detail. This is the number of event visited in that particular year. This is the event name. This is the location, the date, and the associated blog. So if we right click here and say open link in new tab, we go to the new tab and it shows us the complete detail of the blog. Let's zoom in further. And you notice as we keep zooming in, more entries are visible as well. So for example, if we click on this entry, here it shows rich web experience, San Jose, dates, and associated blogs. We can zoom out and scroll to a different part of the map. If we go to San Francisco, 
we have multiple events marked here. If we click on this, it shows Java 1, San Francisco, dates, and a bunch of blog URLs that are available. We can zoom out completely. Go to a different continent. And it shows SunTech Days Milan. If we zoom out further, go to an altogether different continent. Here it says SunTech Days Beijing, dates, associated blog URLs. We can click on another continent, and this time it says Glassfish in Delhi University. Switching back to the presentation, this architecture shown here is used to realize that application. Finally, I would like to conclude with some references. Jmaki project site is at ajax.dev.java.net. Jersey can be downloaded from jersey.dev.java.net. Glassfish, where both the client-side and the server-side projects were deployed, can be downloaded from glassfish.java.net. NetBeans IDE, which is used to develop these applications and makes it really easy and simple, can be downloaded from netbeans.org. The complete instructions to create this application are available at the URL mentioned in the blogs. And as we would like to say, Glassfish swims in the aquarium. You can find the latest and the greatest news about Glassfish at blogs.sun.com slash the aquarium. Enjoy and wish you a very happy new year.